Oh, what up, peeps? It's your girl, Dodge, coming back to you from Real Takes. Uh, today, I'll be doing a reaction to a movie titled The Informer. I was um, told I need to check this out by my girl, Sabrina. I don't know anything about this actual movie. I do know from the thumbnail that it shows that it's starring Joel Kinnaman, and I am a fan of some of his work, so you know what? Going in blind, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Save my rant then, you guys. Are you a princess? Maybe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Ah! Super Charming is back. <laughs> yeah. It's happening. This is oh, recording now goodness. and we'll be recording the whole time. Rosamund Pike. Okay. Taslow was a convicted felon. He is also an informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Clive Owen. We have a buyer. I would take everything you got, Gogum. You got. These guys find out you're a cop, you're a dead man, you understand? Ooh. I'm gonna give you one chance. Damn. And I'm gonna give it to you in a few seconds. Phil, freeze! That's why I can see him, NYPD! This is bad business. Sakara in the town. The cop was pointing the gun in your face. You now owe the price of your life to White Tech. How much is your life worth? You'll break your parole. Go back to prison. Anyone can get drugs inside. It's you. I want out. We go along with the general's plan. Evidence of fentanyl being methodically distributed inside a state prison buries the general for good. And if that happens, you're a free man. Dang. If you go back inside, you never get out. Common is okay. Says, okay. I a death of somebody very close to me. We can't have this detective find out that an FBI informant was present during the murder of one of his own. Oh, wow. You want to pitch your field office against the biggest police department in the world? You love us a good fight. What are you thinking? Burn it. He has a family. We looked him in the eyes. We made him guarantees. I don't have kids. I would suffer too much if something happened to me. Oh, wow. He's starting to come back home. I'm scared. I'm doing everything I can. I'm coming for payback. We're just gonna throw him out there, damn. I'm I just put a tight noose around your neck. I'm not getting out of this. The sentence now. Surprise. Mmm, okay. All right, you guys, I really enjoyed that trailer. Now, from what it looks like, uh, he's working, Joel's character's working with the Fizz, which is played by Rosamond Pike and Clive Owen. I'm loving the cast, and of course, Common, I see, is in this as well. Now, it looks like he's helping them. I'm assuming, you know, he's getting out of jail, whatever. Supposedly, he's doing good, whatever. Out on parole, whatever. So now, something's happening where they're working with him to deal with some bigger guys, you know, bigger fish, so to speak. And something goes wrong the deal goes wrong because one of them of course is undercover and he caught that I could tell from whatever he was doing with his, the hand gesture and whatever that must have given it away because I like how he he realized and the guy got fidgety and basically just you know the whole you know setup of whatever was just botched and he got killed right there on the spot it was just like oh man so I'm looking forward to how it looks like now they want him to get in there the guys like you know I lost a person he was shooting a gun at you whichever now he has to go in there infiltrate within the prison common is of course has lost his um his partner so now he wants some answers and they're not willing to give him so he's going to figure out what's going on and almost ruin whatever they have planned for the bigger guy so i'm curious to see how that's going to plan of course they're going to use his family against him whatever now he's trying to it's almost like he's on the track of time he has a certain amount of time he has hurt and get it done so he can get out there and save his family from being you know being murdered and i like how it's a rush to get what he needs to get the answers get the guy the big guy you know so he can get out so i'm looking forward to it and i can see the part where clive just you know he's there to do the right thing and you just want to burn him and leave him out there and of course comic or careless because he feels like you know he was there but he's working for the fbi so it's just a lot of layers on top of layers of this story which is cool with me i love stuff like this i'm gonna tell you i love a good uh prison movie i hate to say it like that but that's basically it i've seen so many over the years um one of the first ones it was this movie back in the day even though it was a female-led cast winner all called vendetta the girl lost her sister she infiltrated the jail cell got locked up so she can 
get rid of all of them and she was really good um the one that always comes to mind to me first and foremost is jean-claude van damme's death warrant i love that one then of course there was a movie back in the day uh recently not that long ago with Stephen dorth and uh val kimmer called felon and then one of the other ones recently i saw like about a, almost two years ago um was called shot caller if you all haven't seen that, you really need to see it. It's my boy from Game of Thrones who plays Jamie, Nikolai Coster Waldo. He played the lead in this, and let me tell you the transformation of him going from like a, just a regular preppy guy to being straight tatted up, blending in, you know, doing what he had to do to survive. It was such a good movie. I'm going to post the poster some up in here, Shot Caller. It is a good must see, honestly. Um, I really enjoyed that movie. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Plus, I'm a fan of Joel Kinnaman's, um, some of his work. Um, he's been quite busy doing some things. Of course, a movie recently for Netflix. And then, of, um, of course, I'm waiting to see if he's going to come back in Suicide Squad 2. That will be nice. Uh, yeah, this looks like a nice cast. And I see Rosamund Pike is very busy. She's in another movie that I need to see as soon as possible. It's a lot out there. It's November. It's um, called A Private War. So I need to check out her most recent movie for that one. But yes, this looks really good. Most definitely plan to see this. And I'm hoping from what it says, it comes out in March of next year. And I'm praying is why I release. I have a feeling it will be. So I think I don't have to worry about that. So, But with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you all think. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.